welcome to the first part of lecture 15 uh, on graph theory. So, in this lecture uh, we learn uh, flow network. Uh, so, first we learn what is a network. Uh, a network is a directed graph such that each edge has some capacity. So, directed graph also I never talked about what is directed graph. Um, so, a graph is directed if every edge has a direction. Say in case of directed graph, if I say there is an edge from A to B, so that will be indicated that you can only move from A to B, not from B to A. Okay, so, let us uh, learn uh, first what is network formally and then we learn what is a flow in a network and finally, uh, we will see how to find maximum flow uh, in a network. Okay, uh, so, here is the definition of uh, network. So, a flow network denoted by G V E is a directed graph where each edge say U V in E has a capacity noted by C U V and this is always greater than equal to 0 and it has a source vertex S and a sink vertex T. So, maybe I can just uh, draw a network here. So, this is what the network is, uh, this is the source vertex and this is the sink vertex T and it has other nodes of course. So, this is A, B, C and D and as I said a network is a directed graph. So, this is the meaning of S to A, you can only move from S to A, not from A to S using this edge. So, and this has capacity 3, that means 3 unit of flow you can send from X to A. A to B, this has capacity 1, T to B, sorry uh, B to T it has capacity 3, S to C it has capacity 3, C to D capacity 1, D to T capacity is 3. A to C capacity 2 and uh, D to B capacity 2 and uh, 
d 2 a this edge has capacity 2 again. So, this is what uh, <coughs> a network is. So the, so, the g is a network here. Okay. So, it is a directed graph as I said <coughs> it is a directed graph and each edge has capacity c u v. So, that means uh, here c s a is equal to 3 that is what the meaning of uh, c s c u v. Okay. Now, uh, I hope that there is no doubt about what is a network. Now, let me introduce what is a flow. Okay. So, a flow denoted by f in the network G is a real valued function f which is from b cross b to r such that some conditions are satisfied. The first condition is that the flow amount from u to v is always less than equal to the capacity of the edge u v. That means, and the meaning of this one is that if the flow value from S to A cannot be more than 3. You cannot send more than 3 unit of flow from S to A because the capacity maximum capacity is 3. So, you can along S to A you can send 0 unit, you can send 1 unit of flow, you can send 2 unit of flow, you can send maximum 3 unit of flow, not more than that. Okay. This is what the uh, capacity rule, this is this is called uh, this is called capacity rule. So, the meaning of this one is that that is flow on an edge cannot exceed the capacity of the edge. I am sure that you understand this thing. Now, the second rule is the second condition of the flow. We are talking about the flow definition, right? Definition of flow. So, this is all under the definition of flow. The second rule is uh, skew symmetry, skew symmetry. So, this is the flow from u to v is equal to the negative of the flow from v to u. Okay. Uh, so, how do I explain this one? Um, so, the flow suppose I send uh, one unit of flow from S to A. That means, my flow from S to A is 1. Then the flow this will be also can be considered as the flow from A to S will be considered as minus 1 that is all. Okay. Uh, that much is uh, okay for the time being. Now, the third condition which is very important uh, that is called flow conservation.
So, the meaning of this one is that for every vertex V other than the source and the sink vertex, the flow going into a vertex U or vertex V F U V the amount of flow that is going to the vertex V I will explain uh, this one uh, from all other vertices. So, U belongs to V. So, this is the amount of flow that is going into V is equal to the amount of flow that is going out of V. That means, uh, V to W and W belongs to V. So, the meaning of this one is that the amount of flow into a node equals the amount of flow out of it. Okay. Uh, so, <clears throat> I am sure that uh, maybe this is this part is not clear. Let me give an example of, uh, of a flow. Um, say I said that flow is a real valued function. Uh, that means, for every edge you put some real number such that that real number whatever number you are putting that is less than the capacity uh, this will be somehow true automatically uh, and the flow conservation rule is true. Uh, let me just give an examples uh, and then I will explain uh, what is a flow valid flow. So, I assign for this edge I assign one unit of flow. So, the meaning of this one is that the way this is the notation that I will be following uh, in this lectures uh, that uh, flow capacity, this is the flow, this is the capacity. So, this is the flow, this is the capacity. So, along this edge I will send one unit of flow, along this edge I will send one unit of flow, along this edge from A to C, I will send uh, 0 unit of flow. Let me write this 2 here. Um, along this edge, I will send 0 amount of flow. Uh, along this edge, the capacity was 2. So, it is from D to A, I will send 0 amount of flow. From D to B, I will send 0 unit, 0 unit of flow. From S to C, I will send 1 unit of flow. C to D, I will send 1 unit of flow. And from D to T, I will send 1 unit of flow. <coughs> now, the question is uh, whether <coughs> this is a valid flow. Um, whether this flow, so flow I said it is a function which assigns some real number to every uh, edge. So, I have assigned some real numbers uh, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 here. Now, I need to check whether this allocation of flow satisfy all these conditions. First, the capacity rule. Uh, is satisfied because everywhere you can see that the flow amount is less than or equal to the capacity, right? And here also, um, the second is fine, it will be automatically true. Uh, the third one, uh, now flow conservation. Uh, 
so one vertex cannot conserve some amount of flow. The amount of flow coming into a node must be equal to the amount of flow going out of that node. So the amount of flow that is coming into A is 0 plus 0 plus 1. So the amount of flow that is coming into A is 1 and the amount of flow that is going out of A is also 1. So you can see that this flow conservation rule is true for A. You can also check for B, uh, for B the amount of flow going into B is uh, 1 plus 0. So this is 1 and the amount of flow going out of B is 1. And similarly for C, the amount of flow coming into C is 0 plus 1, 1 and the amount of flow going out of C is 1. Uh, finally check for D also the amount of flow coming into D is 1 and the amount of flow going out of D is also 1. So uh, the flow conservation rules are, is true for all vertices except the source vertex and the sink, sink vertex. So from the source uh, the flow only go out right. So the 2 unit of flow is going out of S and 2 unit of flow is coming into T the sink vertex. Okay, so, uh, I hope that you understood uh, what is a network and what is a flow in a network. Flow has uh, some conditions, uh, this uh, capacity rule must be true uh, for a flow to be valid, uh, skew symmetry and uh, the uh, conservation rule. Uh, these three rules must be true for a flow to be valid. Now then what is the problem here, uh, what is the optimization problem that we are trying to solve in the flow network uh, is that a given a network you have to find what is the maximum flow that you can send from source to the sink vertex. So this is the optimization problem, maximizing the amount of flow. Okay, so we talk about uh, that problem now. So the problem we consider here is given a flow network, a flow network find maximum flow from S to T. So this is the problem that uh, we are going to solve uh, and uh, this is not a trivial problem how to find a maximum flow from S to T. Now in my previous network uh, you might have observed that the total amount of the total amount of flow from S to T is 2 and the total outgoing flow from S is 2 and total incoming flow to T is 2. 
Okay, so what I am trying to uh, say is that uh, the total outgoing flow from S, look at the previous network, the total outgoing flow from S is 1, this 1 unit of flow plus 1 unit of flow, that is the total 2 unit of flow is going out of S and uh, that will be same as the total incoming flow to T, the total incoming flow to T is also 2. Bec this should be true, the amount of flow going out of S is equal to the amount of flow coming into T. This is, this should be true because of the flow conservation um, rule, no node can conserve some flow, that is why the amount of flow going out of S is equal to the amount of flow coming into T. Now, formally the value of a flow of a flow f is denoted by cardinality of f, I mean mod f basically, um, that is the flow that is going out of s, s to u, uh, u is a vertex in V and which is also same, same as and the amount of flow going into T, so where U is a vertex in V. The total flow from the source is the same as the total flow into sink. Okay, so, uh, we have learned all the technical uh, terms, uh, so uh, we know what is a network, what is a flow, what is the value of a flow and what are the conditions a flow should satisfy and now the question is what is the maximum flow that one can send from S to T, is this 2 is the uh, maximum flow possible uh, in this network? or you can send uh, some more amount of flow from S to T. So, that is the problem uh, here and uh, in order to solve this problem, uh, how to find maximum flow from source to sink in a flow network, uh, we will talk about uh, two important concepts one is called uh, residual network. So, the residual network is uh, with respect to a given flow and also we talk about uh, augmenting path. Uh, let me talk, uh, let me start uh, with the definition of residual network and uh, probably we will give an example to explain what is residual network in the second part of this lecture. Uh, so, I will start with uh, the definition of uh, residual network. So, two basic concept, one is a residual network and the other one is augmenting path. Okay, so, uh, I will just uh, uh, mention the definition at this moment, uh, consider an 
and arbitrary flow f in a network g so arbitrary flow means uh, it just satisfy all the condition is not necessarily the maximum flow uh, even you can assign uh, zero flow for every edge that is also fine uh, then the residual network residual network gf as i said that residual network is with respect to a flow has the same vertices as the original network and one or two edges. I will explain all these things using example, but let me just state the uh, definition at the beginning. So, it has the same set of vertices as the original network and one or two edges for each edge uv in the original network okay so how we construct the edges if the flow in the edge uv is strictly less than the capacity c uv then there is a forward edge forward edge uv with capacity uh, c uv let me put this f also to denote that this capacity is for the residual network for the edge u v this is equal to c u v minus f u v this is 1 and the other case is that if f u v is strictly greater than 0, there is, is a backward edge, backward edge v u with capacity C f v u is equal to f u v. Okay, so, this is what uh, um, the definition of uh, residual network, I did not explain it yet. 
so, in the next part of this lecture, the second part of this lecture, I will take example to illustrate what is this residual network and after that I will talk about augmenting path, what is a augmenting path in a residual network. Thank you very much.